What's going on guys, Phil here, Phil's Craft Corner. Welcome back to another Workshop Wednesday. Today I am fitting a couple of gates. I've already fitted one gate, but the camera went a bit funny and I lost footage of that. So hopefully we get the recording of this one and I can build and fit this gate and you can actually see that one and the process that I go through. Uh, this gate, I'll show you the sketch that I have over here. So this is the gate that I'm going to be building and just like a, a little quick what I need from materials wise. Uh, it's going to be an arched gate and I'll show you the easy way of getting that arch to fit in the hole that's made because it's a brick brick arch that it's fitting into and rather than me cutting the arch now I'm going to build the gate solid and then I'm going to mark it out when we get to the property and we can make it perfectly fit in there. So what we're going to be building out of, so this is the old gate that I took off before, uh, it's a bit knackered and doesn't look too great. We're going to build it out of 6x1 rough sawn, uh, these are 2.4 metres and then I've got 3x1 for the bracing again that's rough sawn but that's 3 metres. Uh, we're going to cut it all down on my Evolution chopper, uh, which is an absolutely amazing piece of kit for doing these kind of things and uh, we'll show you how I build gates. So let's get started. Okay, so I've measured this board. Uh, at first I measured it at uh, 80 inches and uh, I thought, no, nope, you know what, just to make myself a bit safer, I'm going to do 81 because I can't remember whether or not I added a little bit on at the 80 inches. I probably did, but we'll do it at 81 just in case because we're only losing. We've still got this bit to go. Uh, on this side, I've got this bench and I've got a little bit of uh, 2b1 just sat under there to help support it and then we'll have this sat flush against there and we'll make this cut. So I'll trim the other ones down and then we'll get it laid out on the workbench and we'll show you how I assemble it. guys so those of you who are paying attention to that realized I switched to 3b1 for the last two cuts and that's these two outside ones just to make it look as even as possible uh, so that's the rough layout of where it's going to go I'm going to put some braces across here one in the middle one across the top um, but I'm not going to do it right at the top because there's going to be an archway so I'm going to come down to where the very bottom of the archway is going to be and I'm going to brace across the top there uh, depending on how strong it is after that, I might also run like a little arched brace across the top of there, which I will cut on site and then screw together. And then we're going to put the uh, the cross brace across from here. Uh, always angle it down towards the hinge side. On this gate, the hinge is going to go onto the front of the gate, just the way the gate is. So I'm going to transfer that over to the other side and you'll see when it's all done. So uh, I'll get them braces all put in and we'll show you how I do that. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mark off from the top down uh, where the arch is going to end from the little one. Uh, I'm not going to draw the arch because there's no point in doing that at the minute. But uh, it's just for the support brace that's going across the top. One side is 68 and one side is 71. So I'm just going to do a square across at 68. So now I've got them marked there, I know where to put that top brace across, uh, which we're going to use 3 v one for again. And I'll put one in the middle and one six inches from the bottom. So these are the offcuts from the two sides and the previous gate. Uh, they're a good size for this, rather than chopping up another 3 metre length. I'm, I am going to have to break into that 3 metre length just for the cross braces, but for now that should be good.
So I've just marked and cut them all at 30 inches, even though this is slightly bigger than 30 inches. 30 inches is the final dimensions I want of the gate. So I can put these on and then we can trim down the sides to match the sport braces. So I always try and start from the centre and I'll mark the centre which will be 40 and a half. I'll make sure all these top ends are lined up because that's where I measured from. So I need to take off half an inch on either side of this gate. Okay, so I've got a scrap piece of quarter inch, a half inch, sorry, MDF. That was really close actually. Yep, that is perfect right there. So we're going to square this off. I'm using 4 by 40 mil screws in these. And I put two screws in each piece along. Alright guys, so there we go, this is the braces set up. So, to do the braces, uh, I'll do the big one first. So I line these over the top like this, uh, I get a pencil, obviously that one's right in the corner there. Mark on the inside where it touches there. And then I'll do this cut before that cut, because if I try and mark that now and mess about it, it kind of goes a little bit off whack. Alright, so I've got my mark here, you can see that quite clearly into the corner, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up roughly, I'm going to undo my locking bolt and I'm going to slide it across so that my laser lines up fairly well. Um, so just give me a second, I'll pop the camera down. That is from my mark to the corner, so I'll lock that down. So that lines up really well down here. So I should be able to line that straight up to the edge. Close to, nice and flat. I should be able to come up here. That's slightly off. And by slightly off, I mean I was probably one degree out, but that's going to be fine, that's not going to make, uh, make a difference, that, that'll be perfectly fine, so I'll mark the other line up there, uh, it should be the same angle as this, but I'll mark it and then we'll do that cut. Okay, so we've got that cut and as you see they both they go on opposite angles, and just flip the piece over, slide it into place, and it's pretty tight against there. And it's pretty tight against there. So I'm going to screw this down. Again, put in as many screws as I can, especially in these bigger ones. I'm going to put one here, one there, one there, one there. So there's going to be two in all the bigger ones and then just one in the smaller ones. And that'll hold it nice and firm. So I'll screw that one in. I'll get the other one cut. Again, that's going on the same angle. Uh, these want to angle towards the hinge side. So on this gate, this is going to be, no, nope, that's going to be the hinge side, so we need to flip that over. So that's going to be the hinge side going up to there. Uh, so just have a quick think about that before you uh, screw it down, uh, plan it out what you're doing, remember which side the hinge side is, and it'll save you a little bit of trouble when you do come to fit it. Alright guys, so that's the angle braces all fitted and ready to go. Uh, I can trim down these sides here now, so you see there's a tiny little bit of overhang here, there's a little bit of overhang on that one, but when I trim these down to the right size, that's just going to get trimmed and it'll be fine. So we're going to trim the sides off using the track saw, and it should be the right width then, and I can just take it to the property, 
we can mark out the arch that's going over the top we can get that cut and then we can hang it alright guys so I've got the track saw set up I used my spacer to just sit on the edge just to make sure I'm cutting the right amount off that edge I'll do the same off this edge and obviously my track didn't go right to the end so I get to around here I slide the track up and then I reset up to make sure I'm at the same point and then I cut from further back just in case it's slightly off and it just makes everything a lot straighter that way so I will do this cut all the way up here I'll do the same on the other side and then we should be good to go at 30 inches Alright guys, so that's all the sides trimmed down, right down to here, and knocks these little bits off on both sides as well. So this is 30 inches all the way across, all the way down, so that's ready to go to the property, so I can mark off the arch. We can cut out with a jigsaw, and then we can get it hung, put the lock on, and we're all done.